is uh, August 18th, 2022, and uh, this is day seven of training program for the final year BBA students of KPR College of Arts and Science, and this is the final day. So in this final day, what we are going to discuss is how to attend interview. So interview attend manu bode, yepudi niye body language wise, knowledge wise, intellectual wise irukano apniye garada pati orichina demonstration, right? So you want me to sit or you want me to stand? I'll stand. I'll sit. Apa rajas manu paraliya? I don't think it's a problem. All right, okay. Fine. As you mentioned, I have sat down. Now you can start. Observe panninge, clean observe panninge. Yevlo dura mudiyumo, gobi. Kunjeng vaangla. Adu kunjeng munnadi thaliyirunga. Romba distance ta irukku. Apdi apdi stand oda munnadi vaanga gobi. Podu. Podu. Thank you. So now So once you come here, and you are sitting, and when you are sitting, this is the question. Okay? Your shoulder, chair, and the chair, this chair is a very comfortable chair, and I am keeping my feet like this. Most of the time, in the interview, your feet are like this. You don't have to go very far. Okay? So, if you say very far, you can sit down with your cross legs. You can sit down with your cross legs. If you are cross-legged, you are very self-defensive. Okay? You are very, very self-defensive. Okay? You are right-hander. You are right-hander. You are right-legged. You are right-legged. You are left-legged. 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 You are right-hander. You are left-legged. 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 Kaal rendi straight aja cte. Puri orang pakai ni sanju kan dengan dia puri na. Ni perih level la confident aja illa. Orang ke dahud. Orang support aja aku perdu nanti. Ni right hand aja rendi right la sanju na. Right hand aja rendi ni left la sanju. Indah mari dahud aku kan dengan dia puri na. You are requiring some sort of psychological again pattern aja. Adar aja. Orang ke adar aja mana nanti. Lean back aja full la aja cte. Ni puri aja cte. Kayi aja puri aja cte aku kan dengan dia na. Clenched abdi na, you are not dependable na to. Ni unah wanda awal awal nama mudiyah na to. So ni pergi cik lah, ilah ni kaya wanda itu operation la, epo me pergi cik pes lah, shoulder ik, level ik, beriye kaya kondo boga ama wicik. So ni pesum bodo wanda itu kunci abdi muna ni wanda ipergi kaya wicik ni pes serden kerde, nalla body language. Adem hari pesum bodo wanda itu, I was doing in KPR, these things should be avoided. If you put your shoulder region in the back of your shoulder, what does that mean is, you are looking for some support. You are very unnatural. Okay, right. But at the same time, you have a style. You have a body language. That's your name. That's your name. Okay? Right. Now you can ask questions. Anybody? Sample questions. The students have already collected, so you can collect the questions and you can tell us. Yes, Anand. Yes, sir. My name is Manian Sundaresan. I finished my BBM way back in 1999-2000 in NGM College, Pallachi, and I finished my MBA in Bharatiya School of Management and Entrepreneurship Development. It's been 22 years since I have uh, finished my MBA and now I have uh, come here in your reputed organization uh, to work in the Department of Human Resource Management. I would like to tell you why I am capable of uh, becoming a Human Resource Management Executive in your company. Uh, in the recent times, from 2013 to 2021, your company had been getting almost about eight awards and all the eight awards were recognized by the government. So a government has recognized a company for eight times. It's a real splendid and stupendous significant thing. 
So being a, a 20 years experienced person, and if I'm getting into uh, a government recognized employee, I would be very proud. And if I join into your uh, company, into the department, uh, with my skills, my leadership skills, and the kind of innovative skills I have, I would be able to definitely help your company to get award for the ninth time from the government. So I basically believe that your company will be giving merit for my skills. I would like to line up some of my skills that I have. Um, I am very good in logistics management. I am very good in terms of recruiting people by understanding their skills. And I am also reputed for understanding uh, the talent inventory of a person. Based on that, I will give uh, the promotion. In the previous companies, people, when they are supposed to promote somebody, they will only ask me who to promote and who not to promote. Because I can study talent really well. Your company is looking for talent study. So I think I can be fit into your company. That is why I am humbly looking for a job in your company. Good morning, ma'am. Yes. What is your strength and weakness? Thank you for asking. Uh, my strengths are my vision, and uh, I always have a big vision, and I would like to calculate myself uh, doing things for the next five years or ten years. Uh, this is 2022. I had been uh, uh, having a vision right from uh, 2011 to get into a placement like a company of yours. So vision is my first strength. And my second strength is uh, uh, I will be able to work in uh, teams. Like I can befriend anybody and I can be a very good team leader and I can be a team player as well. Uh, I would like to cite an example for my teamwork strength. Uh, three years back when I was working in a government project, I was able to go to various colleges and I had to work with a lot of professors. In each college, different professors will be in different types. So I was able to make friends with them and we successfully completed the project. So teamwork is my second strength. And my next strength is I can balance my mind and body. I keep myself fit uh, both in terms of physics and in terms of mind. I do meditation for my mind and I do workout for my body. And uh, I'm a fitness freak to an extent. So that's my third strength. I can list many strengths like this. Uh, since you have asked about a weakness, uh, well, I am really working on anger management issues and I am successful for that. Uh, how am I reducing my anger? I am reading a lot of books, I am attending a lot of training courses, and I am meditating a lot. So these are some of my strengths and weaknesses. Thank you. Basically, there are four reasons why I prefer this company. You see, we follow all the companies. Today, every company has got a website, every company has got an app, every company has got its own YouTube channel. I don't know about your app, I don't know about your YouTube channel, but I, I'm really fond of your website. So that's when, uh, Ms. when Mr. Abhilash asked, I was able to recognize that your company has got almost about eight awards. So awards, that is government repeated company is the first reason. Second reason why I like your company is youngsters. I'm not an youngster, but there are plenty of people who are working in your companies or youngsters. They are uh, in, in your uh, about us column in the website. You have mentioned the age category. Most of the people in your company are belonging to the age category from 21 to 34, young segment. You see, if I am coming there and if you are recruiting me, you'll be putting me as a leader for those people. And I will be having the wonderful privilege of working uh, along with the youngsters. And my youngsters will be taking me as a superior. And that will be a wonderful combination. So young segment is the second reason why I like your company. Third is, well, you are working with uh, a lot of other countries. Uh, you have tie-up with the uh, companies in Germany. You have tie-up with the companies in Finland and uh, United States also. So we can make our company an MNC very quickly if we are having proper strategy. And the last reason why I like your company, no, it is not last, re last reason. It is one among the reasons. Another uh, one among the reasons is you have a great vision. And just like I was answering ma'am that I'm also a visionary, you are also a visionary. So we both can join together and make a lot of wonders. That's why I like your company. Yes, sir. Well, I would like to humbly uh, submit to all of you that there are a couple of accomplishments that I have made. I won a Best Entrepreneur Award. But you can ask me a million dollar question by getting an entrepreneur award, why are you coming into a company? 
Yes, I was a Best Entrepreneur Award winner way back in 2019, three years back. Um, Enterprising Entrepreneur Award, Bharati University, where I got graduated, they themselves gave uh, me the award. And that's the first accomplishment that I had. And the second accomplishment is being a consultant to various colleges and schools. I have uh, trained about 80 to 85,000 people. That's my second accomplishment. Third accomplishment is I spent a lot of time with a lot of multi-faceted youngsters. Uh, I've been with the MBA students, I've been with uh, business administration students, I've been with commerce students, I've been with law students, I've been with medicine students. So by being along with this multifaceted people, I have learned a lot from those youngsters. I think that's a very big achievement that I have done in my life. So these are some of the achievements. Because you have a very big vision of becoming one among the pioneer companies in India. You're already a pioneer company in India. Uh, I recently made a speech uh, to one of uh, the young segments and I have spoken about our company there because uh, you have a big uh, vision of uh, uh, becoming the best company in India after Tata group of companies. So a company which is going to that pace needs a person like Manigandam Sundaraisen for uh, leadership and for uh, better understanding and if you hire me, I will see this company as my family. I will have a sense of ownership and that sense of ownership is always liked by your managing directors. So that's why I believe that you should hire me. I believe in hard work only, not in smart work. Because people who have suggested smart work, they haven't showed a demonstration of how to do smart work. But hard work is historical. There are plenty of people who have really worked hard and they have showed the results. So I believe in hard work. And uh, hard work takes a lot of time to achieve. Uh, we are heading for a lot of uh, smart work in the next year. Well, ma'am, if your company is looking for only a smart work person, then unfortunately, I will not be a proper candidate for you. I'll tell you why. Because uh, smart work uh, gets into some sort of shortcuts. It gets into some sort of fast technology. That's what people call us uh, smart work. But I am a person who got graduated from the early 2000s. So we were known for you know, putting our uh, nerve, putting our body and putting our energy into uh, the work. So I am used to it. Maybe, maybe if you hire me, I will teach the teammates who are going to be youngsters how to work hard. Because the youngsters already know how to work smart. But they don't know how to work hard. So a hard working boss and a smart working subordinates will make a wonderful combination and by then you can achieve. You can have smart working employees and hard working employees in your company. That's what I believe. Yes. What is your difficulty situation to overcome in your life and how you face it? The biggest uh, difficult situation, I show you. The biggest difficult situation I faced was uh, January 17, 2016. Uh, that's a date when uh, I lost my dad. And uh, after losing him, I was not able to continue my profession. Uh, if you ask me to go to Pollachi from Coimbatore, I will take all the route, all the possible route, even if it is very, very far away. But I won't take only one route, that is the route via Ramakrishna Hospital. Because it was Ramakrishna Hospital where my dad passed away in the critical care unit. So I don't want to go through that hospital. And I was feeling very bad and uh, he was my biggest strength. And I'm a replica of uh, his own self. Uh, from January to May, I canceled all my training. Uh, but my friend, Dr. Balasamy knows it. During that time, he was also giving me a training opportunity. He was working in RVS College at that point of time. And he was inviting me to RVS College and I canceled that also. I'm a freelancer. I will get money only if I go to work in college. I'm not a salaried, I was not a salaried professional. I just imagine, my family needs money from my own self. I'm the only earner in my family. And I did not take any assignments till May. Jan to May, I did not take any assignments. That was a very difficult situation. But to answer your second part of the question, how did I overcome? One day, my dad appeared in my dream and he said, you see, you always wanted me to come along with you for the training program. You used to tell me that, Dad, why don't you come along with me, take a chair and sit and watch how I am doing the training. Because you always wanted to see. 
and whenever you called i was not able to come because of the leg pain that i had my dad used to have a lot of you know nervous uh, uh, malfunctioning in his leg so he was not able to travel so i will i've been giving you lots of excuses why i am not coming to you coming along with you for conducting training but now you go wherever you want i can come i can reach the place even before you you go to whichever college you want i'll be there you go to assam i'll be there you go to karnataka i'll be there you go to kerala i'll be there you go to kaimitur college i'll be there so don't you think it's a wonderful opportunity for both of us to travel together in colleges so don't cancel anything once you wake up from the sleep accept all the orders he literally said this statement in my dream it's not a dream because in the dream he speaks about sleeping he says once you get up from the sleep how would a, a person come and speak about sleep in a dream but then it is not a dream it was a spiritual message i woke up and i immediately called a couple of people dr balasamy was one among them and i said is that opportunity still available and they said they were kind hearted people yes of course available we called you in the month of february now it is may you can come with the tan shirt head i started the car and i went to all the colleges and you will never believe me 2016 year end december 31st uh, i took the revenue that is the top most revenue that i have ever earned in my entire entrepreneurship life even now <laughs> thank you even now this is 2022 even now that salary figure had not been beaten even now let me be very frank with you i uh, earned 8 lakhs per, per per annum 8 lakhs per annum is uh, close to about 50000 per month or so right i normally earn about only 3 lakhs per annum 3.5 lakhs per annum that's it because you are a freelancer you don't earn hefty package of salary uh, so that's a classical example of uh, how to rise up from the so i would like to say that as an answer for you short term goal is very obvious i would like to get placed in your company after this interview if you are saying me that you are giving me the offer letter that would be the fantastic accomplishment of short term goal long term goal in your company i would like to aim an admin position uh, vice president human resource department that's the chair i am aiming for uh, in the next 5 years so that's my long term goal and if you look for some other long term goal maybe our company with the same brand name of our company i would like to start a franchise having a good partnership with you that's my long term goal exactly uh, the same answer that i would like to give, I, i had given to mr hari pranesh uh, being a vice president in hr department in your own company and uh, maybe working along with you you are already a boss now and uh, maybe i will also be a boss along with you uh, that's where i see myself in 5 years ma'am you haven't understood i am really sorry i am not harsh but uh, i would like to humbly reiterate your understanding i am trying to see this company as my family and uh, when you are giving me an offer into the company you are having assignments until 2026 so you are one among the 33 companies in india which has got assignments at least for the next 4 or 5 years with a given pandemic situation is such a wonderful company if it hires me and if i am working for you you yourself will be impressed in my work uh, workmanship and professionalism and you yourself will be asking me to have a partnership with you so i never look you as a competitor but if you are looking as a competitor then you are looking at the wrong person no i am not a competitor i am a part of this company but even if you reject uh, me from this job I will k- still keep studying about your company, and I will still keep your company as my inspiration. But I will never become a competitor for your company because I have some other companies as a list for competing, not your company. Thank you. Uh, beg your pardon, ma'am. You are giving me the assignment that I should work in night time, night shift jobs. You are interested in, uh, Not interested. You are interested in working in IT jobs. 
Okay. The question is, why do you prefer the nitrate jobs? There are many uh, nitrate jobs out there. And most of them stating that uh, if you are uh, doing the nitrate jobs from unhealthy, so what is your opinion? Well, nighttime jobs are very peaceful. In the daytime, early morning, 9 o'clock, first of all, I don't have the responsibility of starting my car and uh, parking the car in signal by signal to come to your office. And by that way, at 9 o'clock, I need not be in the traffic if you work in the night shift jobs. And over the cup of coffee, I can sit at my home and I can work in my laptop about our company assignments. So the daytime, when my mind is so fresh, that is in the morning, I get to work on our important assignments of our company. All right? And in the midday time, I can still work. And in the afternoon time, I can have a peaceful sleep. And in the evening time, I can prepare for the work. And in the night time, whatever I had prepared for the day, in the day, planned in the day, can be executed in the night. By that way, I can give you more productivity. Right? And in the night time, you won't be calling me because you'll be sleeping. Because in the daytime, if you are my boss, you will keep on calling me, you will be keeping on texting me and asking for it. But you being my boss, you will be at sleep and I will not have any distraction and I can work even more. So basically speaking, night time gives more productivity. Then why not I work in night time? These are the reasons why I work in night time. Thank you. Website. The other competitors have website been launched and more other countries are attracted to the website. But in our company, only three countries are viewing our website. And you know AdSense, Google AdSense pays money for the visitors of website. Your company is earning very, very less than AdSense because you have only Indian visitors to the website. But our competitor, our next strict competitor, he has 115 countries coming into his website. He's like Sony's website. He's like Dell's website. He's like HP, Hewlett Packard's website. Everybody, right from child to senior citizens, everybody's getting into the website. So I think we have to work on that website region. Maybe we can work in the portfolio. We can uh, involve lots of youngsters to re-nourish the website. That is number one. Next thing is young segment. Our competitor has got recruited college students. They have recruited college students from, they are recruited from KPR CAS, they are recruited from PSD, they are recruited from RVS, they are recruited from Karpagam. These people, besides working, they are working for, besides studying, they are working for their companies. But our company, your management is believing that students should not be disturbed. They should finish their graduation and only then they will have to work. No, it's not like that. When they are studying, if we, if we are giving some part-time jobs, the student will be more fresh. You know, he's young. Like, after becoming a graduate, he's old. But when he is in graduation, in the process of graduation, he's very fresh and he has more ideas. So we need to work on that also. So I think if we do these two things, we can overtake the competitors. That's what I think. Yeah, come on. I won't go. I would definitely not go. Because I have mentioned the word family here when I was answering Mr. Samir and when I was answering Ms. Nalina. When you are taking care of me like a family, why would I go somewhere else? You see, money is not the yardstick. Sentimental values, attachment, bonding, together getting into the success ratio. That's the most important thing that matters at the end of the day, right? You invite me to uh, Christmas, I am inviting you to Diwali. I can get in this company, but a company that is paying 30,000, 40,000 extra than your company, there they will be putting me in a golden cage. A cage is a cage. Although the bars are made up of gold, a cage is a cage. Here you will give a freedom. So why would I go to some other company? I'll come back, Susan. One second. What is your philosophy towards your work? My philosophy towards my work is there are a couple of things. Inform, be informed. Major the major things and minor the minor things. And survival of the fittest. These are some of the philosophies I work by, not only in our company, but also in my life. I'm really sorry to say this, but I would like to humbly answer your question. The work environment should contain a lot of youngsters. 
back in the days when i was a soft skills trainer i was thinking that i will never get old i remember one instant when uh, kpr college of arts and science recruited me for training some of their students on the 6th day there was a function that was happening my students got bisected and they were asked to go, go to the function the department's dean also invited me to come to the function so what i did was i walked all over the place to reach the particular hall where the function was happening and when i was walking towards there were plenty of young boys young girls coming walking you know passing me speaking to them giving high five to them it was a break time it was a coffee break time and students were having fun talk and all that i missed all that so much when i walked there and also also when the function was happening i had another class and i had to come back still the break time was there there were even more students so by looking at them i was feeling that you know when you are with these people you will never get old you will always be staying young i felt that i want the same environment here in your company filled with youngsters filled with young subordinates so that i can feel that i am not old that's the environment so so i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming so so There are three reasons for uh, considering myself as a special person. You are going to recruit a person who is working like a monk, who is thinking global, but he works like a monk. Who will work like a monster, but think like a monk. Okay, this monk mentality. Just now, when Mr. Hari Pranesh asked about money, I said that family value is more important. Just go out the good job. Just go out of this interview room. and ask how many people are going to be having a monk mindset when you are working in this organization you won't see any boys and girls raising the hand only i will be raising the hand i'll work like a monster but i will think like a monk i'll plan like a monster but i will execute like a monk there's a difference between a monster and a monk you know it so this will not only elevate our company but also it will keep the company steady going steady that's one reason the second reason is i have seen students i have trained faculty members i have trained employees like you right so a person who has trained all the segments of the society and if that person is coming to your company as an employee then it is going to help you on a large basis so these are the two reasons why i am special uh, thank you come come kana kana orange i am coming actually yes i would refuse to work with a person who will uh, be worried about uh, three things if a person thinks always about money i won't work with that person if a person gives a handshake to someone and having a smiley face to speak and then when the person goes away and coming back and makes a criticism about the person on its back i won't work with that person because that person is not trustworthy and i won't work with the fault finders finding fault with the society finding fault with the government finding fault with the system i won't work with them so these are the three people i won't work with yes people who have not once again avde varla friends thinking of friends the first remedy of stressful situation escape is friends when i think of uh, uh, my friends in college i have more student friends i recently got lots of friends from kpr college bba department i recently got lots of friends from uh, mangalam engineering college kottayam kerala so these friends looking into those people's profile answering the text of those friends that will make me out of stress and work out boxing nunchuck spinning working out in the gym that's the best way to work out of the stress so these two things are my stress relievers thank you for asking that question once again once again jennifer major challenge okay major challenge i face was one company expecting short term results well mr manigandan we are believing in you so much and you have to do this you have to do that and you have got only 5 months to work giving a very big project and giving only 5 months to work that's a major challenge it happened in 2018 only 5 months 
and they wanted me to place almost about 1500 students which was very very tough but we worked in a different kind of a horizon and uh, I gave a different innovative kind of planning for them and ultimately it worked not 1500 people some 850 to 900 people got placed that was the biggest challenge that I faced okay cake rather first more chalang, right uh, Gobi I'm coming I'm coming Vinish okay Gobi Vignesh uh, Darshan Abu uh, Bonesh uh, Ime Varshini if the company is going on a loss I would first of all talk to the respective department like I think you are uh, the chief in the marketing department of this company first I will come and talk to you only because you are taking care of marketing and you are taking care of sales and if you are saying that no 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 we need to speak to the production department then I'll go and speak I think uh, Mr. Susindran and Nalina are working in this production department I'll go and speak to the production department I'll find out where the cause is you see when a patient comes to a doctor stating that I'm, fev I'm feverish the doctor does not give the medicine for the fever he gives the medicine for why he attracted the feverish symptoms right so you have to find out what is the problem and I will try to find out the problem and our R&D department led by Mr. Kalayarasan I will ask the R&D department to go and do a marketing research where the customers are feeling dissatisfied and why are we having loss by taking these solutions we will definitely be able to come out of the loss hope that answers your question Abu improving our goodwill first I would like to make the college students understand that men and women are same there are still believers in the society that women cannot do certain things but uh, if you notice our Indian Chamber of Commerce for the past six years there are many many women award winners SBA Bank had a, a woman CEO she won the award ICIC Bank won the award. Indian Oil Corporation had a, a person who was working in the cash department. She won the award. So I'll first of all make the college students understand that men and women are same. Men can fly rockets. Women can fly rockets. Men can cook omelette. Women can cook omelette. Right. So I will make that particular thing understandable. And by that way, our company's goodwill will be rising. That's point number one. And point number two is having a satisfied uh, payroll system our company should not have anybody going out of the company just because of money matters that's a shame for the company so we should keep them on a satisfying payroll for that our shareholders should be generous enough to give the money and sometimes we will have to reduce the price so that we can attract more customers so by giving them a good pay and keeping the employees satisfied our goodwill not only in the society also in the heavens it will raise the third and final solution is uh, keeping a proper uh, harmonious employee employees without any jealousy employees without any ego problems employees without any fault finding it's a beautiful environment we'll have to spend a lot of money to ensure that kind of a comfortable environment of employees that will make the goodwill so these are some of the answers you may watch I was just answering uh, your department colleague, uh, Ms. Pavitra, like uh, working in night shift is not going to be a problem for me. I can be flexible, but that depends upon the health and tall issue. If I have got some issues in health, I would humbly request you to change my timing. If there is no problem for my health, well, I'm ready to take any kind of overtime. It depends upon my health. Uh, you don't worry. I won't be having any health issues. I'll definitely work for overtime. Monish. There are many, there are really many. Youngsters are masters of app creation. I would like to learn how to develop an app. I would like to learn how to construct a website. I would like to learn some engineering work because our production department needs a little bit of training in engineering work. And I would like to learn how our logistics department can be nourished. And I would like to learn from the marketing department how advertisements can be done better. I'm not very good at it. Mr. Gopinath is very good at it. He makes a lot of good advertisements. Sometimes Gopinath shows his own face and the sales goes skyrocket because he has got such a level of work. Uh, celebrity image. Likewise, I would like to learn all these skills being in our company. 
that's a skill that's a set of skills i would like to learn arshan achieving the company goals is very simple by following three rules rule number 1 obey although you people are much younger to me i should obey you second one is innovate if i am able to come up with lots of innovative skills you are going to definitely respect me and the next one is marketing having new levels of marketing systems so o i e m strategy obey innovate market strategy will take a company to heights thank you because a hr manager is valued just like a doctor is prayed for that just like an advocate is prayed for in some companies hr managers are really respected and prayed for because uh, you recruit a person you give him a job you analyze the person and then you pay the person and then you promote the person a hr manager is like brahma he is also like vishnu and he is also like ishwar why is he brahma he is recruiting the person why is he lord vishnu he is promoting the person why is he lord shiva he is sending him out of the company so hr manager only will have these three roles that is why i am having so much of interest in that profession come in come in come in please yes my favorite book is think and grow rich by napoleon hill uh, chapter number 4 is my favorite chapter and that chapter speaks about auto suggestion i repeat auto suggestion auto suggestion is how you are speaking within your mind i can have i can i can share it with you i have got the pdf copy and my next favorite book uh ms vengeshwari my next favorite book is the silva mind control method which spoke about how to control your mind manifestation your trainer mani and sundaresh might have taught you about manifestation that guy read that book and uh, only then he became popular in that so don't believe him completely he is a stealer of concepts uh, no offense to him i am also carrying the same name but still uh, he is a different version in the same name i am a good version of mani and sundaresh and he is a bad version of mani and sundaresh so ultra mind control method and think and grow rich these are my favorite books <coughs> Yes ma'am I have many failures my first failure was in 2000 November when I got failed in economic subject in MBA Dr Ajay Matthew who might be also watching this video he gave me two marks in a class test and that day I was feeling very 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 low because a person who has never kept any arrears that was the first time I had a, a fail it was not a trimester exam it was a class test i failed in the subject and how did i overcome well i went to dr rajay matthew and i said your teaching is very difficult to me can you help me and that professor helped me out he really helped me out and i still remember he used to go to the coffee shop by taking a coffee mug in bardi university so when i asked i said what do you want sir i i got two and a half mark in class test in managerial economics i'm really feeling sad can you help me and then he pulled over his draw and he took one more coffee mug and he used to wear cap so he put on the cap and he gave one coffee mug to me and i got it come with me so the, we both went to a coffee shop in that coffee shop he won't drink coffee with uh, the cup that is provided in the shop he will have his own cup he was so hygienic that time he wanted me to have his own mug and he said after you drink coffee wash it and give it back to me he said I said okay, sir. And over the cup of coffee, Dr. Rajay Matthew is still in Bardia University. He's still not reti- retired. On October fourth, I uh, know October sixteenth, we are having a reunion at Bardia University. I'll tell Rajay Matthew that Infanta asked this question, and I gave this answer. That man mentioned money and then managerial economics is nothing but your own world. You spend money, you earn money. Read that science. தமிழில் அவர் சொன்னது பணத்தை செலவு பண்ணுறதும் பணத்தை ஏர்ன் பண்ணுறதுக்கும் ஒரு சயின்ஸ் இருக்குடா அந்த சயின்ஸை தெரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா அதுதான் நான் மேனேஜர் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் நீ அந்த வியூவில் பாரு அஜய் மேத்யூவை பார்க்காத அஜய் மேத்யூவோடைய புக்குன்னு பார்க்காத நீ அந்த வியூவில் பாரு ஐ திங்க் மேனேஜர் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் வில் கம் டு கம் ஈஸி டு ஐ டிட் ஹி கேவ் மீ அ மாஸ்டர் அட்வைஸ் ஐ டிட் அண்ட் தென் ஐ கிளியர் ஸோ தட் வாஸ் மை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபெயிலியர் தேங்க்யூ
come in, come in, come in, come in. Flexible. Flexible is the one word I would like to describe myself. Yes, Pat uh, Sarve. My greatest achievement, I, we spoke about Dr. Ajay Matthew, right? He was in Bardi University. Mr. NGM College and Mr. Bardia University bodybuilding titles. Uh, when I was third year BBM student, when I was in the first year MBA and when I was in the second year MBA, I won uh, three times consecutively Mr. Bardia University title. Weightlifting and bodybuilding. That's my greatest achievement. Thank you. If my friend pulls my leg, I will teach him how to pull the leg properly. Because I'm not going to fall down, even if he pulls the leg. So I will get alert and I will call him, my dear child, come here. I will teach you how to pull the leg properly. And I will teach him really what is pulling leg and I will make him fall down. And he will have sand on his face and he will look at me and I will tell him, this is how you pull your leg. So that will give him the lesson. No friend has pulled my leg. Yes, of course. They tried, but I did not fall. Dinesh. A job. I, I would like to convince you people to give us a job. I'm just one step away. One step away to board the aeroplane that you people are flying. I'm just looking for a wonderful environment to work with you, a privilege to work with you. And I will be happy. You will be proud. My happiness and your pride, when they join together, sky is the limit for us. Rajesh, yeah. what are the qualities? The qualities of a good manager is defining what to be done, defining what not to be done, and assembling the proper team for a particular task, and expecting the work to be finished in a proper, fair timeline. He should not give less time, he should not give more time, fair timeline. I think if these three are followed, he will be a good manager. Yeah, next, okay, we will, we will come with the sequence of the names. Srinavi, Gopinath, Chitrita, Samir, for time being. No, Narevir, Kekradavanga, Arun. Ah, of course, Sanjay. Thank you, that's a nice question. You mean multitasking? One famous author mentioned multitasking is stupid. Multitasking is not needed in India. But I don't believe. When uh, Department of Marketing, Department of Production and Department of Finance are giving me the job, uh, then I will have to proper, uh, properly put up a schedule and uh, I will have to think back how I used to work in this kind of a situation in the past. That knowledge will give me a lot of wisdom and put it to use. You always have a science in your past library. Take that science and apply. It'll be okay. First of all, when I made a mistake, as everybody does, I felt very embarrassed. I felt very insulted. And I felt very disappointed about myself. People were laughing at me. People were ma making comments on me. People were uh, uh, really uh, putting me down, putting me in the rock bottom. Yes, I was feeling very, very down, very, very low. But then, I'm sorry if uh, I sound very crazy. Those times, I used to watch Sylvester Stallone movies and Stone Cold Steve Austin's wrestling video footage, Undertaker's wrestling video footage, Bruce Lee's nunchuck spinning skills. These cinematic clips, when I watch them, I'll get a power and I will rework on it. This is the kind of a real good inspira inspiration that I was requiring. And most importantly, uh, in the recent times, instead of the Stone Cold uh, Undertaker and blah, blah, I used to listen to my dad's voice. I have the recordings of my dad's voice. So I listen to my dad's voice and I don't know where the power comes from. I'll start working on it. That's how it is. But yes, as your question uh, is a very valuable question, I also feel very disappointed when I make mistakes. I admit, I admit to you. Right. Okay. Arun, come in, come in, come in. Arun, Preeti, uh, Suresh. What will you do first if I hire I'll give you a box of sweets coming to you, to your office. And I will say, you are one among the main reasons for me to get placed in the company. This will happen. But formally, to answer your question, the first thing, 
I will update my LinkedIn profile and uh, I will write a description about our company in the LinkedIn profile because my LinkedIn profile has got 6,000 followers. So those 6,000 followers, if they are needing solutions, they should only come to our company, right? So that's the first thing I would do. I would make an echo to the other people that I'm in this company and I will pull a lot of customers. That's the first thing. Thank you. Sorry? I am not a risk taker. I'm really sorry. Because when I take risk, my family comes into my mind. After my father's demise, I have uh, three ladies to take care of at my house. So because of them, I would not be able to take risk. I cannot go far away from them. Um, recently, an assignment from Kerala, interior Kerala came to me and uh, they said uh, they want me to stay there for 22 days program. I said, I can't do that. And even uh, Dr. Balu wanted me to stay in the guest house instead of going and coming every day because the travel is paying me. I mean, this is travel cost is 20,000 for the entire training project. But still, I'm paying the 20,000 for not being able to stay away from the family. So I'm not a risk taker. My management skill is democratic way. I uh, talk to the people. I try to, you know, take care of them. Uh, and uh, it's only democratic way. I'll be very supportive and participative. Suresh, Karayarsan next. Understand the reason why they are trying to put pressure on me. Just try to understand because they need certain amount of results. I'll go talk to them. I'll go talk to them. Because yes, like a steam engine, I can be heated up and I'm ready to accept the heat. But even that steam engine will be blasting beyond a certain point of heat. So it is a foolishness of the person who is, you know, lighting up the steam engine beyond the certain point of level. So if it is going beyond the certain point of level, I'll go sit in front of the manager, look into him eye to eye or look into her eye to eye and I'll say, the amount of pressure you're putting on me is not fair. Reduce it, I'll give you quality work. I think many managers will accept whatever I'm saying. I'll talk to them, I'll definitely talk to them. And if you are putting pressure, I'll talk to you also. Thank you. Come in, come in. I think I've answered this already. My ambition in uh, my life is uh, setting a partnership with your company and I should be 40% shareholder of this entire company. That's my ambition. Okay, Gopi, then Chitrita. <clears throat> you see, sir, uh, my family expense is 18,000 per month. And uh, my car fuel expense, I'm going to buy a Royal Enfield bike. So the bike's fuel uh, expense, everything will be costing for about uh, 6,000 per month. I don't buy dresses very frequently. I don't buy shoes very frequently. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I don't consume tobacco, tobacco. I'm a teetotaler. I eat a lot of non-vegetarian food. For non-vegetarian food, almost here and there, Swiggy orders, Zomato orders, uh, 5,000. 65 to 75,000 per month. I'll be satisfied with that salary. That's enough. And uh, a traveling allowance whenever I go to home. So 80,000 per month. When I was working for a Mahalingam Engineering College, which is in Polachi, uh, this incident happened in 2005. 113 students, B, C, A, C, I, T, Triple E, and E, C students, all those students, and I was a placement trainer, so I took them for the placement. Infosys company was uh, connecting a campus recruitment, and that was in Amrita College. Amrita was hosting the campus. So I'm responsible for those 112 students. We started by 8 o'clock in the morning, and we took the college bus, and uh, when we were returning, it was 10.30 in the night. Out of 112 students, 23 students got the placement. We were not very happy, only 23, close to 10%. It was raining and it was muddy and the bus got toppled. All the 112 students fell down, including me. 
uh, fortunately i did not have any aches on my body yes i rolled over but i pulled all the girls pulled all the boys there were seven or eight students who were very severely injured i think one guy got shoulder dislocation also it was 10:45 when this accident happened and uh, amrita was uh, in a very deep village you know and in order to come to this uh, nh the bypass nh salem uh, kerala nh still we need 12 kilometers to be covered okay so we did not get any help from amrita we had the cell phones the button cell phones in 2005 we had only the button cell phones we tried calling the emergency and those days the emergency numbers were not there the ambulance was not that much specific i was the only person who was trying to help i was the only staff the boys most of the boys were battered unconscious fortunately we had a village people some 12 or 13 people came running 12 people so 12 houses i sent five five people to each person it's a responsibility of one person to take five to his house okay so if it is 12 people then you cover up about 75 people 85 people were lying down some 10 or 15 were active like me along with me so those 85 people were given the bailout with those people and those people were really gods they went to the home and they gave them first aid they gave them water they gave them food but i stayed away from all of them for 2 hours <clears throat> until 1:15 in the morning i called everybody's house and i said the truth yes your son has met with an accident i am with him he is fine or mood manikulla i will reach you at your place yes your daughter is fine yes her toe is fractured at 3 o'clock we will yes your uh, son is fine yes your son is uh, fine yes your daughter is uh, injured yes your daughter is fine i made lots of phone calls the rest of the people were in hostel so call the hostel warden and i so by the time we rescued and the bus driver pulled up with the crane and all that jcb came and they helped us and all that and by the time we reached the college campus by dropping all the people at their house it was 6 o'clock in the morning secretary appreciated me so much and uh, the week next to next after getting recovered from them these guys gave me a party in kaimbatore's biggest hotel i was very satisfied and that was a very big challenge and those people who were in that uh, campus connect are still in my close network i remember one girl her name was vasuda vasuda ragraman vasuda ragraman every time she speaks to me in facebook she always remembers that and she keeps reminding about that that's the biggest thing uh, that i have that's the biggest uh, challenge i have overcome i will ask the company uh, for uh, three more tickets and if they are sanctioning three more tickets i can go there definitely i will go yes. Next. sorry I don't believe in the statement that person has mentioned. Even um, Infosys Narayana Murthy once said, "Love your job, don't love your company." I differ from that. If you love your company, like like for example, I mean, I just answered a question when I was working as a professor in that particular college. I could have very well called a local hospital and I would have asked them to take care of them, and I would have boarded a bus and I would have reached home. Why I have been trying to save all those 112 people? Sense of ownership. I love the college. I loved my secretary who gave me the job. I loved the students who are thinking that I am the soft skills trainer for them, right? So that sense of ownership. How would all this be possible if I don't love the company? So if you say that that's not the rule, I will still break the rule, and I will see the people as family only. That's my style. most most significant in your career what are the that you are considered to be the most significant in your career 
the assignment of KPR CAS training project which happened in August September 2022. 253 students were trained and all the 253 students were placed. That's my biggest achievement and that's a single project I felt so significant about it. Thank you. Am I getting the job? <laughs> Sorry, where are you? Question Kate and Angla notice Pana Mutana. Anybody? Sir, I'm going to give you a chance to give you a chance. I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you a chance to give you a chance to give you a chance. Anybody else? Okay, right. And, uh, if you have a question or two questions, you can ask me a question. I'm going to talk to you. Do you want to talk to me for 55 minutes? <laughs> okay. So after the break, you will be in this position, I will be in that position. Okay. Any questions? All right. Thank you so much. I'll be meeting you in the next video. Jay. Fifty-seven minutes and twenty-one seconds. Hada, Pavila.